everyone. This is George Kuros, and I'm actually with Dr. Derek Love, and we are here for an episode of Three Questions. Okay, before I always ask my favorite question, the, 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 uh, the mystery question is, uh, what would be your theme song if you were a wrestler? <laughs> which is the only way I know how to do this. And Dr. Derek picked this song, which I didn't know that I knew the song, but I didn't know who, who sang it. So let's see if we got, got a little, <laughs> should do like a little, like, uh, you know, name that tune to see if people actually know that song. I love it. That's a good one. I, that's like one of my favorite questions to ask because uh, the, the range of music that people are interested in picked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, mine is uh, mine is uh, you're the best around from Karate Kid. I don't know if you ever saw it. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't, and I just like I clarify. I don't think I'm the best around. I'm not saying that. It's just I right. love that song. I think it's, it's yeah, the music. It's kind of like it just pumps me up, but it's also right. like really cheesy and corny. Like <laughs> it's kind of like this is awesome, but I'm embarrassed. I like it. Right, <laughs> right, right. Absolutely. Hey, so Dr. Derek, um, thanks for being on the show today. And so um, this series is called Three Questions. And I would love uh, people in the comments, if you're on YouTube, I'd love to actually to hear your answers to this too. And I think this is a great way to like acknowledge some of the great things that have been done in teaching that we've seen in our careers as either a student or a teacher, but also a great way to acknowledge some of the teachers that we have. And so Dr. Derek, the first question is, who is a teacher that inspired you and what did they actually do to do that? My first grade teacher, Mrs. Duffy, she was simply amazing. Um, when I was in first grade, I had a speech impediment where I kind of stuttered a bit, but she demonstrated patience with me every step of the way. Uh, she also saw my true potential of what I could become. And when I saw that, what I mean by true potential, she gave me opportunity. Uh, uh, things that I didn't understand. I remember her giving me opportunities to go back and correct. And she showed, demonstrated a level of warmthness that uh, made me really fall in love with learning. Yeah, and that's like, that's amazing. Like, I think a lot of times uh, we don't talk enough about how important it is to be patient because I'm sure that a lot of teachers that are listening to this, if you really think back at your career, some of the biggest successes that you've actually had are with, you know, kids that really struggle when they first met you, right? And it was that mm -hmm, perseverance, absolutely. it was that patience uh, to kind of go through that. And then, you know, how exciting is that to be able to see, you know, the impact of the work that you do? So is Mrs. Duffy, uh, do you still have contact with her? Um, this is grade one, right? Have you, when's the last yeah, grade? first grade. Yeah. No, it's been a year. Uh, I haven't had any uh, contact with her. I just know that the imprint that she left on me was was phenomenal and i every t every time i get asked that question she's always the first person who pops up who who comes to mind who's truly been uh life changing in my life transformation in my life well you know what mrs duffy gets the special if you're listening you get the shout out porn <laughs> <laughs> way to go I love it. Okay, so the second question is um, administrators, right? And I know that um, your work, you work with a ton of admin um, all across, you know, uh, different states. And so I'm sure that you've experienced this either as, you know, your work as a, an educator, as a student. So when you think of like a really good administrator, something that stuck out to you, like who's someone that, you know, resonates and why? Um. When I was serving as chief academic officer in San Antonio, Texas, her, uh, the superintendent was Dr. Cheryl Washington. And she is one who sticks out the most because it was not only that I learned the good qualities of being a leader, but I also learned in those moments where I needed to improve as well. And she didn't mind helping me grow in my areas for improvement. And I think it was just simply as that, learning both the good and the bad that goes along with the job. Um, learning the most effective ways of how to communicate. Those are some of the tangible tools that I still use today that I gained from her um, that truly it made a footprint. And it helps me to lead today in the organization that I'm in currently right now and in my nonprofit. 
It's actually, it's really interesting you say that because um, there, there's, I know this sounds weird to say, but sometimes when I ask like an educator or a teacher, um, mm-hmm. like, tell, tell me about your admin, right? And they'll say, oh, they're, they're really nice. And that's to say, I'm like, oh, like, I, like yeah. it's great that they're nice, but they're, it just feels mm-hmm. like there's, there's something that's missing that they're not saying when they say that. And I'm like, of course we want, you know, respectful, kind administrators. But I think that when I hear statements like, you know, my administrator is awesome. They just, they just leave me alone. Right. And I'm thinking, mm-hmm. you know, I don't think we want that for our students, right? We, it's not that right. we don't get out of their way. We don't like remove obstacles for them, but it's really, I think as you, as you shared, there is a power in, in actually challenging people and pushing them to become better, which is what great teachers do with their kids all the time. Right. So I think that, yeah. I love that. I, I think that, did you like, did you find that was something like, was it challenging at some points? Like, did you ever get frustrated? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, we there were many challenging points. There were meeting, uh, there were many, uh, as we call it, meeting of the mind moments. Um, and those meeting of the mind moments when you didn't necessarily agree. But I think at the end of the day, I was able to take away from those experiences yeah. because I think the the when you get your hand slapped in something in, in administration or doing something, okay, that didn't go all the way right or quite the way I wanted to go right, or I kind of made a mistake. But those experiences, I learned so much from those experiences. And she helped me walk through those pieces when uh, when those moments happen. It wasn't just like you're wrong and you're the bad administrator, but walk with those people, walk through me with that process. And that helped me grow and to reform my practices as an administrator. And that's what I love most about her. Um, but then, you know, so the good times, but also the, the, diff- the difficult conversations and even how to have those difficult conversations. I still use her same recipe for difficult conversations <laughs> today because, you know, she did it on me. So I use good. those things still today to help, you know, move educators and to push them in their thinking today. I, I love that because I think really great administrators, really great teachers, I think a lot of times people in the moment that are working with them are just like, oh, like I, I'm so mad at this person. I can't handle this person right now or mm-hmm. have that issue. And then when they look back, they see that some of the push, some of the challenge was really in the best interest. Do you know what I mean? Was to help that person, Absolutely. was to help them develop. And so sometimes, you know, that's one of the things that, you know, going back to the administrator, that idea of like always being liked, sometimes in the moment, when you push people, they don't, they're not really happy with you, but years no. later it pays off, right? Obviously as it has with you. And I'm sure that some people feel that about you at some point too, right? Like, <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. You know what? Whatever, I, Dr. I, Derek, I, right? Like they're probably, right? Surprised, right? And then years later, like, <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah, I was wrong there, right? You know, I remember one of the stories, if you don't mind, if like I had a teacher um, and I saw her years later, but um, we were moving from, you know, how we used to hand the, the lesson plans and a lesson plan book and yada, yada. Here I am, this fresh 27 year old administrator coming into the building and like, hey, we get ready to change the game. We moving from this paper and pencil to electronic, right. you know, <laughs> electronic uh, uh, lesson plans. And oh, and so this is a veteran teacher. And so she was like, what, what do you mean? I put my lesson plan lesson book. Like, that's what I'm supposed to do. And I'm looking like, but we're getting ready to change that, you know, but it was the biggest fight and, and push. But in the end, she said, you know what, Dr. Love, I just really want to appreciate you for moving me to the next level. And that I saw her years later, because what that helped me do was when I got to my new role and position, that's what we were doing. And I was already ready for it and prepared for it. And so it's, you know, basically having those hard conversations and being able to move with people. So that's a great example. So that's, yeah. that's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. Shout out to all the men who have to deal with not being liked in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Cause we've all been there. We've all felt that. I know I felt that about people. I know people have felt that about me. So the, the right, last question right. and uh, you, you know, your career, you look back, all your accomplishments, all the things that you've been able to do. Uh, I always look back and there's gotta be something that, you think of your first year teaching that you're embarrassed by, right? Like, and it, it, you can, it, you probably are awesome. It doesn't mean you weren't awesome, no. get, but <laughs> no. you know, like your stuff, I'm like, I can't believe I did that, you know, like, and, and things like that. So like when you look back on your career, 
with all of the knowledge, experience, wisdom that you've attained throughout, like if you could go back and talk to yourself in your first year of teaching, what advice would you give yourself? I would give myself, uh, be patient, take your time and, and I, learn your craft. And I wonder who, who taught you that? <laughs> <laughs> like, really, that's amazing, right? Like that, that's something uh-huh. that, you know, you learned in first grade, right? Be, be, bring yeah, it all be, back. Be patient, yeah. Yeah. And I would say, tell yourself to be patient, um, and take and enjoy the journey. Because so many times as first year teachers, you're trying to get it right. You're trying to always get it right. It doesn't work out perfectly how you you want it. And so just give yourself some patience and some grace that first year. Um, And I wish I'd have gave myself some. I wouldn't have drove myself so hard. You know how you stayed the long hours. Everybody else is gone from the building. You're still lesson planning. You're still developing. And so that's what I would tell myself. Yeah, I think, you know, that um, a lot of times when we look back at the first year, you know, we're, we're learning. Um, and I think sometimes in the profession, to be honest with you, we, we hammer those first year teachers, we, you know, put them yeah. in everything, and they're still, you know, they're learning, and they're still growing. And of course, they, they want to, you know, make an impact on schools and things like that. But I think it's really important that um, we give new teachers in the profession grace. And, you know, I think everyone understands that especially now mm-hmm. because everybody was a first year teacher this last year, right? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So, so your, your advice of giving grace, um, I think pertains to everybody right now. So, uh, make sure you connect with, uh, Dr. Derek on Instagram and you'll see his Instagram account, um, linked here, but Dr. Derek, thank you so much for being here for three questions. <laughs> Thanks for listening, everybody.